Yankees Toyota Insider of the Memphis Tiger Network. I'm Jeff Breiwood alongside Lee Taylor Walker and Coach out to a, a nice start so far in the fall. Your most recent uh, action was the uh, USTA ITA Ohio Valley that was actually here in Memphis. Yeah. You guys got to host it. And, uh, give, yeah. give us kind of your thoughts on that. Well, it's the second time we've been able to host it in the last three years. So um, anytime you can play such a big event on your home courts is a huge advantage. Uh, just for our own players, but also for fans and everyone. So the event went great, and uh, we had some good results. Um, it's about anywhere between 20 and 25 schools in the region get invited to come play it. So um, uh, Vanderbilt, Tennessee, Kentucky, Purdue, some of the, the big names were a part of it, and I think our team uh, just handled themselves real well, and, and we, has a, we had a good showing. Yeah, to be real happy, day two I think it was, you guys went 12-0 and 0 that day. Yeah, no, that was a good day. I think we were the only team to go undefeated and um, got off to a really good start. Um, it was kind of your first and second round day, mm -hmm. so was, the competition was ex extremely tough, but um, still don't want to take for granted getting started off in a tournament like that. So teams really just come together well. You know, we, uh, we played a couple tournaments leading up to that, uh, but that was obviously one we wanted to peak for. Mm -hmm. So to get started out 12-0 and 0 was a lot of fun for all the girls. Able to get uh, Alyssa Hebert and Caroline Wagner to the finals of that. Yeah, I mean, that's a, we, we've had a lot of different doubles combinations all fall, and that was only the second tournament ever that they've played together. So, um, you know, they're really good friends off the court, and uh, they're a great doubles pair. And for them to make the final, I think they went into the tournament seated fifth, maybe, but to upset some teams along the way, make the final. And, and have a chance really uh, to win it. They were right there all the way through, but the team from Louisville played, played really well in the final. But that was, that was big for our team just to solidify um, another pair that can compete among the best in the country. Uh, we've got Caroline's also ranked with another girl on our team, Stephanie, and they've kind of you know shown that they can compete with the best teams in the country. And so to have Alyssa and Caroline also prove that is just a big step for our team. Coach, you're going to turn around right back at the Racket Club this weekend, the Memphis Collegiate Invitational. Uh, I know Tulsa is going to be one of the bigger teams coming in. Uh, who else do you have coming in? How, how big is this tournament? Uh, it won't be as big as regionals. Right. I mean, we've got some uh, up-and-coming teams, really. Miami of Ohio, UT Chattanooga, both have been building their programs the last couple of years. Um, Miami of Ohio has won their conference the last three seasons. and So they've got a strong top of the lineup. UTC's got a strong top of the lineup. But like you said, like our biggest competition really – really over the last couple of years has become a pretty nice rival is Tulsa. And so Tulsa will be bringing uh, pretty much their whole squad. And uh, I can foresee us probably taking them on in a lot of the finals. We'll have about six different brackets of singles and two different brackets of doubles. And so I wouldn't be surprised if Sunday it's a lot of Memphis versus mm -hmm. Tulsa in the finals. But uh, it should be good to have another tournament at the club on our home courts. Got to be great for you because when we started doing these a few years ago, that was before you had moved into the racket club, and the still facility discussions were up in the air. Yeah. And you know, five six years ago, could you ever dream? Well, we're hosting all these great tournaments, and we've got our home now at the racket club. Exactly. No, it's it's been. I'm really grateful for it. It's been a building process for sure. Um, and when you get into, especially when you get in November, December, January, February, when you have like weather issues, uh, should we go in or out? What do we do? How can we host a tournament? It's like, well, you don't really have to worry about that stuff right. at the club. You know, they have 10 indoor and six outdoor. So uh, it makes it nice. I think we get a little spoiled sometimes, but we try to keep it in perspective. Uh, but we do want to host as many events as we can there. And um, with our team having kind of gotten better and better the last couple of years, now we can get some better home matches too. So in the spring, like we've got some, we've got some good ranked teams mm -hmm. coming in. So, yeah, the transition to the club, the growth of the programs, kind of been uh, very timely, and uh, we're hoping to just capitalize on all the momentum that we still have going. Things that are continue to ramp up. You mentioned dealing with weather next weekend. You shouldn't really have to deal with weather. It'll be yeah. warm again because you guys are scheduled to go down to the Dick Vital, which I believe is in. Is in Florida, is that yeah, correct? It's in Sarasota. And then there's an outside chance you might get a doubles team uh, selected to the USTA ITA National Indoor Championships. There's got to be some with withdrawals there, but you got someone on the doorstep. Yeah, no, Alyssa and Caroline getting to the finals of regionals puts them at like second alternate. We just had the call yesterday. So uh, there's probably, you know, a 30% chance they could get in and uh, we'll be ready to go if a team withdraws to get them up there. Anytime you can play for a national championship, you want to. 
you want to go for that. And uh, another guy's team has a team going up there. So it's a huge accomplishment. Really, I'll just take a side note and talk about that. I mean, anytime the men's program does something, that's really good for us too. Mm -hmm. So the fact that Paul has a team going up there playing for a national championship is huge. And if we get our team in, it would just be even bonus. Um, but then, like you said, we love that tournament down in Florida. It's been a highlight of our program the last couple of years. You know, we we randomly got in the tournament two years ago. We had they had a team pull out and they called us looking for a team last minute, and we would go down there. We end up with three of the four girls in the semifinals, and we win the tournament playing each other in the finals. Then last year, um, we knock off Florida, who was the defending national champion, and one of our girls wins in the finals. So. Uh, it's just a fun event. Dick Vitale's around all weekend. He has the team over to his house and the community there really makes a, a big fun event out of it. And then, so the fact that it's a great event and we've won it the last two years <laughs> is, is definitely exciting that we're, that we're going down there. So we're looking forward to closing out the fall um, on a positive note. Uh, the freshmen that have come in have gelled so well with the team and yeah, I'm just, I'm excited about where we are and I think we're just going to continue to rise. Going back real quick before we wrap it up, the performance of the Dick Vitale. Now, you've had some big nationally ranked wins on the road, at home, some big teams. But really, this Dick Vitale is where you guys nationally, people sort of saying, whoa, where's this Memphis yeah. program coming no, from? No, it's, it's true. And you, you need that to happen in different points of building your program. You need to have kind of those landmark, you know, wins where you have everybody on the team look back and go, hey, you know, we've done that. And so, yeah, that was the beginning, probably a year and a half or I guess it was, yeah, two years ago, where we went into a tournament with some really big schools, big names, highly ranked, and I think things have just kind of steamrolled from there. So um, now it's crazy. Two years later, we're going in <laughs> thinking, like, well, we're going to be really disappointed if right. we don't win this tournament. So uh, no, I'm, I'm thankful. we got a great staff around, everybody, really. I, I appreciate what the athletic department's done for uh, the women's tennis team and given us so many opportunities to succeed. So... It's, it's going to be a good year. Well, that'll be next weekend, but this weekend, again, everybody come out to the Racket Club. Should yeah. be a fun event. Yeah, come out. We want some people out there. It looks like we'll be both indoors and outdoors. And also check out the outdoor pavilion that's going to be finished here in the next couple of weeks. We've got a great piece that's uh, going to be a permanent structure that should be completed in the next couple of weeks. So please do come out and watch. Coach, thanks a lot. Best of luck. Yeah, thank you. That is Lee Taylor Walker. I'm Jeff Brightwell. This is the Wolf Chase Toyota Insider on the Memphis Tiger Network.